It had been a few months since Donald and Douglas arrived on Sodor. Though both engines had their own rough goings, Donald crashing into a signal box at Tidmouth, and Douglas accidentally smashing a spiteful brakeman on Gordon's Hill. But after a deputation, Sir Tom had agreed to keep both engines, knowing that if one were to be sent away, that engine would be scrapped for sure. In the events prior, Douglas accidentally misplaced Thomas' special coach, which normally would join Gordon's Express, the Wild Norwester. Since that day, it has disappeared. Where did it go, you may ask? Well, allow me to tell you the story, the truth, about the missing coach. It was the year 1960, and on a cool summer's night, all was quiet. The night sky was clear, as the stars twinkled, Duck had returned from the works after his accident with the barber shop at Crosby. The engines were all in awe as they wanted to know what happened. Thank goodness you were able to stop in time, Duck. Otherwise, the outcome would have been different than it was. Who thanks, James. And I understand how you all felt towards me after what happened. And I'm... We know, Duck. And we all forgive you. Welcome to Sodor. The engines whistled long and loud for their number eight. Duck knew that he would be a permanent resident on Sodor. Meanwhile, another engine was being sent away in disgrace. Diesel, who was on trial, was found out by Sir Tom Pat and sent away after telling lies about Duck. He was very cross. One day, I'll show that fact, uh, Sir Tom Pat, just how important and revolutionary we Diesels are. Yeah. Diesel thought of a way to pay Sir Tom Pat out, but he could not think of any idea to do so. But then he had an idea. And Diesel made his way to Brandon Docks. Thomas was there rescuing Percy. He had passed danger and took the plunge. Percy was miserable and cold as he was put onto the flatbed. This gave Diesel the opportunity to strike. Diesel's driver was not sure as he coupled Diesel with Thomas' special coach. Then the signalman ran up to the driver. He wanted to know what was going on. Excuse me, but this is Thomas' special coach. I suggest you uncouple it and be on your way. Excuse me, sir, but I gotta take this coach to be refurbished. It has not been done in a while. The signalman was not sure, but he could not argue with the diesel. So he agreed, and diesel rolled away with the special coach in tow. Diesel slept past the key and went on to the main line heading to the other railway. Knowing that his plan was successful, Diesel then decided to fulfill his dream. The next morning, Donald and Douglas were resting in the sidings. They were just about to resume their work when Thomas popped frantically to the twin engines. Where's my coach? What coach? The one that Gordon usually brings for me. It's gone. I must find it. Oh dear. You should talk and have to find out about this. We're doomed. Sir Tottenhead and a few passengers angrily stormed towards the twins. They were furious. Donald and Douglas, I have received a complaint. Thomas's special coach has gone missing. Care to explain what happened? Then he saw the nameplates were gone. Okay. Donald or Douglas, tell me, where is the special coach? You see, uh, Thomas was... I know that. But can't you tell me where you last saw it? I must have shunted it with the others. Gentlemen, here are the facts. Thomas is trying to find his coach. Donald and Douglas have stated their cases. Good afternoon. And I will make arrangements for today's schedule. Now, Douglas, why are you masquerading with Donald's tender? It was Donald's idea, sir. No, it was Dougie's. Was not. Was so. What so? Silence! There will be no more arguing. Now search all the coaches and tell me immediately if you find any clues regarding the missing coach. Y yes, sir. Will do, sir. Donald and Douglas searched all the express coaches. They went high and low all over the island, but could not find a clue. Seems the coach is gone! 
Maybe it retired. Shut it, you lot. Donald and Douglas tried to ask all the trucks, but unfortunately, luck was not on their side. As a result, Thomas had to rely on taking just Danny and Clarabelle. They did not like that at all, and neither did the passengers, or Sir Tom had for the next several days. For the next several days, Thomas kept his distance from Donald and Douglas as Thomas felt that they were responsible for stealing the coach. Meanwhile, on the other railway, Diesel had arrived with a special coach and was greeted by the manager of the other railway. He was very pleased. Well done, Diesel. Despite your foolish acts on Sodor, this coach will do. Diesel shunted the coach into a siding where it would be due for scrap. The manager was a little curious and decided to look into how he actually got the coach and its actual intentions. Meanwhile, back on Sodor, all the engines tried to find the coach. Wherever they looked, they found nothing. Sir Totten Hat was getting frustrated. We asked everyone. The trucks say they did not see the coach. The other coaches say last saw it at the docks at Brendam. But who would steal the coach? But then Thomas had a realization he did not think of since the coach went missing. Do you think it was Diesel, sir? Everyone was shot. Sir Totten Hat was appalled. It could be him, but we do not know that. We'll need to find more possible leads. The only place we have not checked is the scrapyard at Croc. So this is what will happen. Thomas, Duck, Donald and Douglas, you will come with me and we'll go to the scrapyard and see if there's anyone that can possibly have a definitive answer to our predicament. All the engines, one by one, left the sheds and headed towards the scrapyard. Sure enough, there was someone there. It was the spiteful brakeman, who was rebuilt after much consideration from Sir Totten Hat, and the fact there was a shortage of brake vans since his accident on the hill. Douglas approached the brake van and bumped him hard. Do you want to be squished to nothing again? The van felt silent at the dreadful threat and spoke to the twin engine. I knew it! It was Diesel! He stole the coach! Thank you, Brake Van. We could use you for our little mission to retrieve the coach. The van was very pleased. Douglas coupled up to the brake van, and all the engines set off to the docks to speak to the signalman regarding the matter. When they arrived, Sir Tottenhead went to the manager's office to speak to the signalman. It turned out that Diesel tricked the signalman into thinking the coach needed a refurnishing. Instead, Diesel was taking it to be scrapped as revenge. We must save the coach. Everyone has plenty of coal and water to get there. But the question is, will we have enough to get back to Sodor once this is over? Workmen and the police climbed into the brake van, the guard blew his whistle, and everyone made their way to the other railway. the scrapyards on the other railway, Diesel was just about to commence his plan when... Once you're scrapped, Thomas will never be the same again, and... Diesel, where is that coach? What coach? I could never possibly have taken any coach, sir. Don't play games with us, Diesel. Where is the coach? Give me that one in a siding. We'll be scrapped soon. There will be nothing you can drop by. Oh, indeed. We'll see about that. Engines on my railway, whether they visit or not, do as they're told. After him, Thomas chased on after Diesel while Donald and Douglas acted as barriers so Diesel would not escape the yard.
You were saying, Diesel? Diesel, you are a very naughty engine. Causing trouble on my railway, tricking railway management, and stealing rolling stock for wrongful intentions is not how I do business. Especially myself, who I assumed that... Especially myself, who I assumed what you told me was true, when in fact, it was not. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Diesel. Don't worry, sir. I will deal with him. Very well. Engines, let's go home. Our mission has been completed. All the engines made their way home with the special coach in tow. When they arrived back on Sodor, the engines were greeted with a chorus of cheers and whistles. The missing coach was found at last. Engines, today we have found Thomas's special coach. Diesel stole it as a revenge plot against us. Thanks to everyone's help, Diesel has been stopped and will not be invited back anytime soon. But what if he returns, sir? Will he cause trouble again, that devious Diesel, if he were to return to Sodor? That I'm not sure of. What I'm sure of is that I will ensure that this will not happen again, and there will be no confusion regarding which coach is in fact Thomas's special coach. But for now, I think we should all get a good night's rest. Thomas shunted the coach into the carriage shed by the main engine berths, and all the engines went fast asleep. The following day, Sir Tom had ordered the special coach to have a full repaint at the works, this time so it will stand up and blend in with the other coaches. Each time Gordon brings the special coach to Thomas, it's always shunted in the right siding by the engine who acts as station pilot. And I mean everyone! From then on, Thomas takes passengers and parcels up and down his branch line with Annie, Clarabelle, and the special coach. As for Diesel, while well, he was stuck shunting for a whole month, his driver was fined for his part in the incident. That showed them all right. Come along, come along, come along. We're coming along, we're coming along. Thomas was not the only happy engine. Spiteful Brake Van was reinstated to the railway and promised never to be so spiteful again, especially around Douglas. The twin engines also learned not to play tricks, especially in the heat of the moment. Well, they would have their occasional argument here and there. No, Dougie, I will take this train. I will. Percy returned from the works a few days after the coach was found, and Thomas told Percy all about it, and was pleased to hear that the coach was returned at last. Knowing that, I wonder if Diesel will ever return to Soda. Don't you? <laughs>